Helen. You impudent, ill-behaved woman. When are you going to start acting like a housewife? Good morning, Ashley. I don't know where this anger is coming from. May I ask what this is all about? Don't act like you don't know anything. I heard everything from my dearest son, Jack. How dare you neglect your duties at home as a housewife and mother? Ashley, of course, that's not even close to truth. All the household chores and child rearing are all my responsibility. I've been working very hard. Don't give me any of that sass, Helen. That's exactly the problem I heard that you're working all day and night. I'm not stupid. There's no way that you're doing a good job with the housework when you only have a few hours before and after work. Even today, I saw that your fridge was completely empty. How do you even know about fridge? Did you enter our home without permission again? You know how I feel about that. I've asked you countless times not to do that. I'd rather just call it an unannounced visit. But that's beside the point. Just by looking at the state of your fridge, I can tell exactly everything that's going on in your household. You're completely neglecting your duties as a housewife. This is completely unacceptable. It was just a coincidence that the fridge was empty today. I like to completely clear out the fridge. Then we go shopping after going through coupon books and planning the next week's meal plan. I was going to stop by the grocery store after I finished my shift today. That's just a convenient excuse that you made on the spot. There's no need for you to go grocery shopping tonight. I already left some pre-made meals and Tupperware in the fridge. What, Ashley? You really didn't have to. Of course, they're all Jack's favorite dishes. He just loves my cooking and I can't help but feel so heartbroken whenever I hear about your health-conscious but frugal meal planning that you're always pushing him to eat. So you better feed it to him tonight. Make sure to put it in the oven before he comes back home from work so it's nice and hot. Um, thank you Ashley, but... By chance, are the meals that you left all fatty and deep-fried foods? Oh yeah, enough about that. There's something that I wanted to ask you about after seeing your fridge. What's that paperwork that's pinned onto your fridge about? How can you possibly have signed divorce papers pinned onto the fridge? What if the children see? I've never seen such a thing in my life. Oh, that was actually something that Jack left on the fridge out of the blue. He told me that I have no self-awareness or motivation to carry out my duties as a housewife. And so there's supposed to be some kind of constant reminder for me to work hard and live up to his expectations. Oh, I see now. So it was Jack's idea. Jack also has the same opinion as you. He thinks of me as a lazy wife. He's always been a smart boy, my little Jack. Although, I'm trying to do my best work, household chores and child rearing. But, even that is still not enough for Jack. That's why he keeps reminding me that he can push for divorce and leave me whenever he wants if I don't do more. Whenever he wants yes that's certainly right. I see, that's why the paperwork had both your signatures. Yes, that's the reason why. He forced me to sign it. As expected from my son. What an ingenious way to motivate you to do your job. Of course, that's his job as the head of the household. It's expected that he has to rule with an iron fist. Excuse me? Are you seriously praising your son's behavior? You honestly think this behavior is fine and you're okay, that he's threatening me with divorce in front of our kids every day? Well, honestly, it's your fault that he would consider divorce in the first place. Maybe if you took care of him and the house better then you wouldn't be in this predicament, now would you? You can't possibly be serious. Oh, I have a great idea. I'll safeguard the divorce paperwork for you guys. You'll do what? This strategy sounds very interesting. I'll keep the paperwork nice and safe for you guys. No, you really don't have to. You don't have to worry about a thing. No need to be so cautious. I'm just keeping it safe for when the time is inevitably right. I'll be sure to keep it safe in the meantime. 
What do you mean by when the time is inevitably right? Well, let's just say that I'd be so incredibly sorry if I accidentally submit the paperwork. If you know what I mean. Wink wink. I seem to make so many mistakes after becoming so clumsy and forgetful over the years. Especially, after hearing my darling Jack complain about you so much and wishing for a divorce every day, my heart can't help but wish I can do something, you know? The way you're wording this sounds like you're definitely going to submit the divorce papers. I'm just going to make a wild guess. You're hoping to get rid of me since you don't care for me. Why, of course not. That's not true at all. Wink wink. Like I said, I'm just keeping it safe until Jack says he's ready for it. So, make sure to do your best. Otherwise, Jack will seriously leave you. Two hours later. Hey, Helen. How much longer until dinner? You should know better than to keep me waiting. Dinner should have been set on the table as soon as I got home. Not after. You haven't read the text I sent you earlier? I got a call from the daycare that the kids have a fever. So I brought them back home earlier to rest. I was checking on them periodically but then they started vomiting. So I rushed them to urgent care and they're currently receiving four fluids right now. Seriously? You guys are still at the hospital? Yeah, I saw your texts but that was hours ago. You should have texted me with an update. It's really busy at urgent care today. Go ahead and eat whatever's left in fridge, okay? Your mom said that she left your favorite meals in the fridge, by the way. I texted about that to you earlier too. I don't want to eat what my mom made tonight. What I'm craving tonight is burgers. So hurry up and come back home to make dinner now. Look, I'm busy right now. Make sure to pick up some cheese and bacon on your way back. I want a double bacon and cheese burger tonight. I'm way too busy. There's no way that I have time to make that for dinner tonight. That's not an excuse. I just told you that I'm taking care of our kids at the hospital right now. I haven't even finished work yet. I'm currently catching up with work on my laptop while sitting next to our kids while they're getting in four drip. You have some nerve to tell me to come back home now to make you dinner. Seriously, what's wrong with you? Who do you think you're talking to, Helen? You better watch your attitude. Do you really think I care how tired you are with work and taking care of the kids? Your duty is taking care of your husband, which is me. What did you just say? Seriously, you're such an incompetent wife. Why did I even bother marrying a woman as useless as you? There's plenty of wives that can work and taking care of household work just fine. Why can't you do anything right? Sure, there's plenty of outstanding wives that are working, raising kids, taking care of the household, and etc. But it still doesn't mean that they're not stressed and overworked. I'm 100 certain that everyone is completely overwhelmed like I am. There you go again. How can you even be so certain and say this on behalf of everyone anyways? Don't try to justify your excuses with your over-exaggerations. Are you seriously trying to pick a fight with me? Right now? When I'm already worried about our sick kids in the hospital and still work at the same time? You're the type that can't multitask or do any type of work well. You're stuck in this predicament because of that. Not only that, but you also freak out when you're confronted about it. Rather than choosing to self-reflect and improve yourself, you choose to throw a tantrum. Seriously, what's wrong with you? Shut up. Don't you dare talk back to me. Seriously, the way this world works isn't fair. Listen here, Helen. People like you who can't do their job well, just need to stay in good grace with their superiors. Ugh, people like you truly irritate me to the very core of my being. Look, let's stop. I'm not in the mood for this and there's no need to talk to me like this. Besides, it seems that you're irritated about something else? Of course I'm irritated. There was an announcement in the office today. 
Ethan Hash got the promotion instead of me. He started a year after me. Can you believe this? Is that right? He doesn't even do that good of a job. He's always full of excuses like you, and yet he was the one that was promoted. I have a much better grasp of things, and yet I've been stuck as a grunt worker forever. Oh Jack. So of course I'm already in a bad mood because of that. And as if that wasn't bad enough, I come home to find that you can't even prepare dinner on time. Look, honey, those are all things that I can't control. Please don't take your anger out on me. Shut up. I don't want to hear any more excuses from your sorry incompetent mouth. What is wrong with you? Handling both work and household chores are expected from a housewife. Hurry up and come back home to make me my dinner. Otherwise, I'm filing for divorce tonight. Every day I have something about you to complain to my mom. I should seriously consider leaving you for real. One year later. Yo Helen. Did you forget to make dinner again? I've been home for a while now and there's still no dinner on the table. You're never going to improve as a housewife at this rate. I have to do overtime at work today. I was delegated as the project leader for this new assignment. Huh. Someone like you is assigned to be a project leader? Yeah, so can you figure dinner out yourself? I already notified the daycare that it'll be picking the kids up late. There's still plenty of leftovers in the fridge. You have some nerve to disrespect me like this. Who do you even think you are to talk to me like this? A husband should always have his meal right off the stove piping hot. Do you think him like a dog that you can feed leftovers to whenever it's convenient for you? What? You must think you're some hot shot now that you're a project leader. Don't get ahead of yourself. You're just a regular housewife. You think that this will appeal to me as if you can handle both work and household chores. Just because you have more work doesn't mean that you can neglect your duties at home. That was never my intention. Anyways, what's wrong Jack? You seem a little bit more irritated than usual. Yeah, that's right. I'm definitely more irritated than usual. Ethan was promoted to department manager today. Ethan? Are you talking about that co-worker that got promoted before you last year? Yeah, that's the one. He became the department manager of the sales department. So now, because of that, I became his direct subordinate. Oh no. Is that what happened? I'm already annoyed with this situation at work. That guy. As soon as he was promoted, he started immediately lecturing me. Can you believe this guy? He lectured me in front of everyone. Who does this guy even think he is? Oh no. That's terrible. Yeah, and you know that I'm the type that relieve my anger and stress through food and snacks. So hurry up, come home and make my dinner. Don't make me wait any longer. Don't create more work for me. I already have enough on my plate, as is. Do you think I honestly care about that? You're just some lowly housewife. How dare you disrespect me like this? I just told you that I'm already in a terrible mood. Listen here. I'm going to divorce you right here and right now if you're not going to do what I say. Jack, please let's act like adults and don't do this now. No, it's definitely time for divorce. It's time that you get a taste of your own medicine after acting so haughty these days. After the divorce, you better get out of my house as soon as possible. Jack, wait. What is this all of a sudden? Then, hurry up and come make my dinner if you don't want to get kicked out. Fulfill your duties as a woman and serve me. Jack, be a little more reasonable. What you've been saying is rude. So what? Are you coming home now or what? You know that divorce is still on the table, right? Jack, come on. Calm down and don't jump the gun. I'm not joking around when I said I'm kicking you out of the house after the divorce. And not only you, 
but also the kids. You're all going to be homeless. That's the price you're going to pay after disrespecting me like this. Serves you right. Stop taking your anger out on me. Seriously, what is wrong with you? Huh, you think you can talk to me like this now that you're getting a little recognition from work? Alright, I've decided. Let's divorce. It's time that you learn your place. I guess you're going to lose your place to live now. Seriously, you only get yourself to blame for this. Have you already forgotten, Jack? We already divorced a year ago. Huh. Where is this coming from? Of course, that never happened. And here you are after a year, still going on about divorce this and divorce that. Who do you even think you are? No, now wait here for a second. What are you even talking about? What part do you need clarification on? The part where you said we divorced a year ago, Helen. What are you even talking about? Are you delusional? We never submitted any divorce papers in the first place. You have some nerve to be calling me delusional. The divorce papers were submitted a long time ago. Huh. How? Why are you even acting so surprised? You're the one that told your mom to submit the papers. What? Me to my mom? Huh, wait. What? You need to seriously explain what you're talking about, Helen. I took it to heart all the times that you kept calling me an incompetent, useless, lazy, etc. You also told your mom countless times that you wanted to divorce as well. So your mom submitted the divorce papers on our behalf. What? My mom? How did she do that? How'd she get divorce papers in the first place anyways? You seriously don't remember, Jack? Don't you remember a few years ago that you kept our signed divorce papers on the fridge? Now that you mention it. I didn't think much of it being missing until now. I just assumed you got angry and threw them away. <laughs> no way. What happened was that your mom took them home with her one day. What? Why? She said it sounded interesting. She took it upon herself to safeguard them for when the time was right. By which she meant that she might accidentally submit them so I should try my best to stay on both of your good sides. Seems like she submitted them after hearing you complain about wanting to divorce me again and again after that. You're saying that all of this happened a year ago? Yeah, that's exactly right. Your mother contacted me a year ago. She said her heart just couldn't bear hearing you complain about me day in and day out so the time had finally come. And she also said that it served me right. No way, that can't be true. You're just joking, right? Then cut it out because it's not even funny. I'm sure you knew that your mother never thought well of me. She never approved of me being a career woman and thinks that women only belong at home. She probably thought that by submitting the papers, she killed two birds with one stone by making you happy and getting rid of me. What the heck is this? I never heard any of this from my mom before. Well, regardless of whether you heard from your mom or not, the outcome is the same. You always threatened me with divorce and planned to do so in the future anyways, right? Well, your mom saved you the trouble. You should happy, right? Well, Sure yeah, I guess so but. Yes, yes. Well, as you said, I know my place now. So, I'll be taking the kids with me and leaving. I promise you that I'll never see you again or return back to the house after this. No, wait, Helen. This is all just one big misunderstanding. Even after the divorce papers were submitted a year ago, I still stayed with you. I wanted to protect my family's livelihood. Although, to be honest, I was planning on leaving soon anyways. Well, I guess it's fine. I'm doing well at work these days so I'll do as you say and not return to that house from today. Helen, listen, you're misunderstanding this whole situation. You're not serious about this. You're just mad and joking around. No, Jack, I'm being serious. 
It's not possible for you to take care of the kids alone. Anyways, like I said, you're misunderstanding this. The signed divorce papers on the fridge were a prank. They weren't real in the first place. How could you let my mom take those papers anyways? Stop acting like a kid and come back home. No, that house isn't my home anymore. I won't be returning. Take care, Jack. Two hours later. Helen. Now pray tell me, what is this all about? I heard from Jack that you finally left the house. Yes, it's all thanks to you for filing the divorce papers on our behalf. Yes, I heard it all from Jack. He was asking me with tears in his eyes if it's true that I submitted them. To think that he would have tears of joys after waiting so long for this day. This mother truly knows what's best for her son. Yes, it would be great for you if those tears were from joy. Right, Ashley? What else would it be, if not tears of joy? Anyone would be ecstatic if an incompetent wife like you finally left. Oh, I see. In the end, you never once changed your opinion about me. Well, at least I'm not your problem anymore. Take care, Ashley. One week later. Helen, honey. It's about time you stop this charade. I'm sure by now that you're already regretting your actions, right? It's okay as long as you know. Huh? What are you talking about? Since I'm so generous and great, it'll allow you to come back. Let's reconcile, Helen. We can apply for the marriage license today. I even made an appointment at City Hall already. What is this now? Surely I've given you enough time to reflect and repent on your actions. You were being cocky just because work was going well. Surely by now you've realized it's not possible for you to raise the kids on your own. You must be full of regret by now it's okay though. I forgive you for everything. Seriously, what garbage are you spewing now? Who do you even think you are to ask me to reconcile with you? Who do I think I am? I'm your husband. Don't be so proud. In the real world, it doesn't jack her how hard you work or if work is going well right now. The truth is that you're a divorced, single mother. I'm sure you're living on a meager wage anyways. That's no way to raise the kids on your own. Since when have you ever cared about the children's well-being? I was fine raising and taking care of the kids on my own before, and he'll be fine now. In fact, it's easier now after being relieved of the heavy burden of looking after you as well. I'm having a blast raising the kids. Look, this is what I mean. Stop being so proud. Just because you're having a blast now, doesn't mean you're not struggling financially. What are you implying? There's no way that you can survive on your own with a woman's salary. Let alone raise children as well. Just be thankful that I'm extending the olive branch first so we can reconcile. Hurry up and come back home now. Are you saying that 7,000 a month is a low salary? Huh. 7,000? There's no way you make that much. You're lying. I'm not struggling at all. Especially, not financially. If you're saying my salary is low, I wonder what would be a living wage then? There's no way you're making 7000 a month. Yes, you heard me right. I'm making more than double than you. And yet, you're the one assuming that I have a meager salary. Now, wait here for a minute. What's going on? How did this even happen? How is it possible that you have a better paying job than me? I already told you before. After the divorce was finalized, I stayed an extra year to protect my family's livelihood. Well, by family, I meant me and the children. I worked to the brink of death for these extra work opportunities. I became a project leader, showed results, and was promoted. Now, I'm the department manager. You. A department manager. Yes, that's right. Oh, since we're on the topic of department managers, that reminds me. I saw your boss the other day. 
Remember? The department manager who started a year after you did and was promoted ahead of you? What about him? My company was hosting an event at one of the buildings they own. It was a lecture specifically geared for networking and other business opportunities, and we just so happened to meet. It was only a greeting, but he truly comes across as a reliable and competent person. Just from a short conversation, I could tell him must be very well liked at work. You're being tricked. Just like everyone else at work. It's all just lip service anyways. You know that I'm more reliable, competent, and well-liked than that jerk, right? No way. You can't even dream to compare yourself to him. Even on his day off, he's attending management lectures and studying hard. He truly is an admirable person. Huh. What? No, of course I'm much better than him. He also confided with me on a few things. He's currently struggling to train his older subordinate to a higher quality standard of work. How troublesome. I heard a lot. No wait, Helen. Apparently, you're all talk and no work? You can't even apologize when you make a mistake. You keep complaining all the time behind your co-workers' backs. Sounds like you're quite the incompetent person at work. Helen. Oh that note, I gotta go. Unlike someone, I'm not incompetent. I have to go pick up the kids. Bye. Three hours later. Helen, sweetie. There's something I'd like you to consider. How do you feel about reconciling with Jack? If you return now, I promise it'll help more with the children. You don't need to worry about them. It'll take my grandchildren to and from the daycare so you only need to focus on work. Your dearest son couldn't convince me to go back. So I'm guessing he asked you to try and convince me? Seriously, there's no limit to his incompetence. Huh? Where is this coming from? He's too proud to apologize to me after everything he's said and done. So he asks someone else to humble themselves on his behalf. Seriously? Aren't you embarrassed at having raised him? Hey, look, no need to be so mean. I'll promise that I won't enter the house uninvited again. I didn't know that you were actually such an admirable daughter-in-law. It's already too late to try and cozy up to me. Don't try pushing your deadweight son onto me again either. Enjoy taking care of him from now on. Well then. Goodbye. Forever, Ashley. After that, Jack remained stuck in a perpetual cycle of performing menial tasks, unable to secure a promotion within the company. As expected, he eventually found himself on the list of potential candidates for layoffs. Blissfully ignorant of his precarious position, Jack continued to slack off, causing more work and drama for his team as was his usual habit. Following our divorce, he returned to his mother's house, where he continued to idly pass his days and nights. Over time, Ashley discovered the truth about Jack's annual salary. She was taken aback by how significantly lower his income was compared to the average worker, and the shock left her faint. Evidently, her original plan was for me to become her caregiver in old age, with Jack providing financial support. With that expectation in mind, she had spent her days leisurely without diligently saving for retirement. I've heard from an acquaintance that she's currently scrambling to find part-time work but her advanced age has made it challenging to secure employment. From the depths of my heart, I genuinely hope she can find suitable employment and put in the effort.